It's actually really cloudy today. Sunlight trying to shine through it. At least it's really cool. And what was going on today? I guess it's kind of a funny read. I guess with that show Jeopardy, there was a question that the answer was Vancouver, but it made, I guess, a lot of people here a little riled up, obviously in a joking way. Apparently the category was bordering the US. And here the answer was, about 20 minutes after crossing the border into British Columbia, you can be in this big city exploring Stanley Park. So it was Vancouver, but 20 minutes after crossing the border to get to Stanley Park? Man, what are you doing? Flying there? Like jetpack flying, so to speak? Realistically, if you were to drive there from the border, it'll probably take an hour. And even people say it takes more than 20 minutes just to drive from certain cities to that area, even within the province. So it makes you wonder if that was just an oversight or some of that, or is that what is believed everywhere else in the world, where it's that short of a distance? And this was kind of a wacky read. I've read designs and stuff before where people say they had smartphones that can fly. They all ended up being nothing. How about this one? This is apparently a real patent. It says, Vivo smartphone with built-in mini drone with camera. Smartphone manufacturer Vivo patented a very unique smartphone model last week. A Vivo smartphone with detachable camera drone. Yeah, it literally is what it is in this sense. It's not the actual phone flying from, I guess, what the concept shows. It's the drone's actually in the phone. And then when you want to bring it out, it comes out and it starts flying. I guess it'll go back inside in some kind of compartment. And you can see with a patent picture where the camera and stuff and the drone would actually be. And funny enough, with this, apparently there were people who tried to do artistic representations of what they think it would look like in a more realistic way. So it was computer generated. The drone itself, actually this small one, actually exists like the one that actually looks like this. But I'm thinking, is this realistic? You're assuming too, like with the way it's going in and out, wouldn't it have to be completely empty? in that area of the smartphone for this to actually work. This is just a patent, so it won't necessarily become real. It makes me think though, as I mentioned before, this probably will be the way of the future, as silly as it sounds right now. Except I would imagine more, maybe people will actually be able just to fly their smartphones. So imagine all the regulations and stuff on that. Oh no, people flying their smartphones. Like what, 20 feet in the air to get a selfie. For bigger drones though, this one was actually a little puzzling because it says seizure of unauthorized items at Collins Bay Institution. On July 4, 2021, due to the vigilance of staff members, packages containing unauthorized items were seized as a result of a suspected drone drop at Collins Bay's Institution, a multi-level security facility. The items seized include a large quantity of tobacco. The total estimated institutional value of the seizure is $20,656.80. So another one of those stories where they say people are dropping things into prisons and stuff like that. Although, over $20,000 of tobacco? That's a lot to carry, isn't it? Like for the drone, $20,000 worth? And how is well this for an oopsie? Sony apparently was supposed to announce a new camera but apparently the day they chose to announce it conflicted with other things. People at first assumed it was just, oh, maybe it was manufacturing delay with parts and stuff. But this was a Sony announced a delay on the launch of its new camera after the original date chosen for the event angered Chinese netizens. So what's so special about the July 7th date? It says, Chinese netizens vented their anger for the company's choice of date, which also marks the outbreak in 1937 of the War of the Chinese People's Resistance Against Japanese Aggression. Sony published a decision on its YouTube account, adding that it would announce a new date soon. Sony also published a statement of apology on China's Twitter, like Weibo account, on July 1st, saying that the choice of dates has caused a misunderstanding and public confusion. <laughs> yeah. That is like an oopsie. This is a Japanese company too, like with Sony.
Aí, se quiser.